Okay, Drake here with another update vlog for, I probably should have done one for October 31st, but this is the first week in November, middle of the week, end of the week. Traffic isn't any better, so I don't know if this will get the uh, coloring correctly, but I'll try not to bounce up and down because I'm using my camera phone, and surprisingly the front-facing camera does very well to vlog, so... I don't know if you've seen, but yeah, last time I did this video, I was actually showing my new office space, shared office. I really should put a poster back here. As a matter of fact, I have a suction cup that I want to clean up and see if it'll get working. If it sticks, then I'll probably stick a poster up there. I don't know if this is glass is flat enough to do it, but I'll give it a try. Um, but there's really not much going on. The toy store has been kind of on hold. I didn't really want to push it back for Q3 to Q4 to get some stuff restocked. But my sales have been low. And since I've been out of town and come back. And oh my god, just take a one week vacation. And the cost of everything gone up. Now, in fact, work paid for the flight. so Which made life a little easier. But the flight back wasn't that much as the flight over. So... There are some cost budgeting, analysis, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't have a travel buddy, so I'm kind of stuck there. Uh, I forgot if someone wanted a soldering iron. Someone asked me, but oh well. I'm t I have some stuff listed in different places, so hopefully they'll sell. I might do a miscellaneous sell soon again and try to list some common stuff to get some a couple of hundred dollars here and there just to pay for gas and other stuff. I'll be hanging out with River Coon hopefully again this weekend to work on the organ. I'll try to make a video because the progress report should be something to actually put on YouTube. He's got a very old pipe organ. Well, not pipe organ, excuse me. It's an electronic organ that simulates a pipe organ, but it has chimes and a bunch of other features and a lot of blown capacitors. I rebuilt the power supply to a certain extent, but I didn't replace some of the uh, filter caps. So that might come out again. I don't really want to take it out again, but it may be on its way out. I'll do a ripple test um, and I'm there with a scope to see how much ripples on one of the uh, B plus, B minus lines going in. The main 30 volt up, 30 volt down lines. I can look at it with the meter, but I can't get the exact details of the ripple. And uh, voltmeter should be able to measure the amount of ripple because they're calibrated for 60 hertz RMS. So that will probably give me some insights of what's going on. We have a nasty hum in one of the chorus or the way the system, the way it works is simply that there is a piano keyboard. And everything starts off of there. And then there's different toning of that piano. So there's a tuning that generates a note. There's 73 note generators. They're pretty cool. They're just Hartley oscillators that generate a pretty clean pure sine wave. And then from there there's a overturn amplifier that generates a square wave. And the reason why this is important is a square wave can be converted with harmonic second and third octaves and they can pass through all types of filters and when you push the piano key you're basically closing circuits and there are one of two circuits depending on which mode that you're on so there's a lot of complexity involved i didn't want to get into it but when i got there he wanted me to fix the audio wasn't making any audio and it was a blown cap and a blown transistor on the pa amplifier once the PA amplifier is fixed, we can hear audio, and we can also hear the miss audio. It's old, so it's got some old school stuff, so I'm thinking of pulling apart the external amplifier and recapping it, because I'm 90% sure the caps are shot to hell. But I may have to recap the PA, because it also contains the amplifier circuitry, which I didn't quite recap all of that. So I have a funny feeling the negative 30 volt line might be out of service. And if that's the case, I might just have to pull it out again, bite the bullet, and recap it. They have these large capacitors that I'm just going to get a spade and just drill them out and stick a regular cap in there. Because they're so old wax cap, I'll just make it look like the same, but it put upgraded parts in it. So that way it's got all the beefed up stuff that's actually will probably meet to today's standard. <laughs> Because the old wax cap, they work, but they're just filter caps. And when you play with filter caps, they're the ones that are usually electrolytics or whatever that go bad on power supplies. And after you replace them, 9 out of 10 chances they're good as new anymore. So, not a big deal. Anyhow, 
So this room here, I've upgraded some cameras, so I'm now monitoring the uh, car, and I'm probably going to go run to get air on my tires. I'm a little bit low on one of the right tires tonight. I think it's at 26 PSI, so I'm going to go run across the street, and hopefully there'll be a working um, air supply. I haven't had a good luck with that. I had one that looked like it was working, but as soon as I turned it on, it actually went out of order. So either they have the pump shut off or some other bullshit I'm not sure about. So unless there's some legality changes, I don't know. So I'm going to go and try one more here. If not, I'm going to talk to the guy. But I really do need to get some air up to 32 PSI. It's a little bit low on the right side. I don't know why. Maybe there's a leak. So, and since cars have four wheels... If it's the right rear, as it always has been, I don't know why I got the right rear once before, right rear again. Uh, so unless I hit a curve and the curve damaged it, which is generally the case, actually, as you leave off of a curve with a pop and that pressure change on the tire sometimes will cause a tire to fail. So, or spring a leak on one of the seals because they're actually not tube because if you know how tires work I never knew that cars do not have inner tubes unlike bike tires they have a seal and that shock going over a heavy bump unless you get proper off-road tires which are built much differently they also cost more too I'm actually planning to go back to off-road tires once I get a lift kit so I can actually get go over curves and not have to worry about a single shit Anyhow, that's the reason why my last tire lasted so long until the weird stuff happened with those stupid fucking illegals. So, they probably screwed with it because they knew where my other office is at. This office is a little bit strange, so I'm just monitoring on camera. Anyhow, that's my update for, I guess, November. So, bottom line, I'll probably do some reorders. Second thing to that is I've got a few projects to close up. My first suit I got, I have it's not too impressed, but I'm actually fixing some of the wiring on it. Uh, just putting it together, I might improve the circuitry and design. I'm just not kind of enthralled to doing that. And I don't even know if I even want to do it. I may just do it just because and then see if anyone's interested in buying it later. Who knows? Probably not because the Purple Dragon's got a bad name now. So I don't know. I don't care anymore because I want to get back into the paranormal stuff, but I actually want to make sure I have enough financial, so we call it uh, independence, so I can actually do a few things and not have to worry. Right now, I'm just trying to make sure everything is in, all the ducks are aligned together, all my materials are put together, and all that fun stuff. So, all the fun stuff, that's all I'm looking for. Anyhow, out.